Mewtwo. Well, he, he usually doesn't start with Mewtwo. He, he tends to have fun. See, <laughs> <laughs> see, these two were doing some friendlies beforehand. Mm -hmm. oh, and, so, so he's already warmed up. Here. Oh, yeah. He was conditioning. Sorry, Tag was conditioning hard. Yeah, so he didn't hit him with that Mewtwo. Mm -hmm. Now he's getting the Mewtwo. Now he's going to get the Mewtwo. Ooh. So, I, I understand, you know. You got you to gotta take what you get, you know. Yep. Whatever competitive advantage you got. I mean, I serve everybody the Gengar, and I'm going to give them the Gardevoir later. So, you know, happens. Please do. I am. <laughs> I would be okay with that. <laughs> Um, alright, so, starting off here, Sorry, Tag is being nice and patient, not going in at all. Lots of zoning. So, Ooh, are, oh, we, are we going with the, um, Rotom at the turn change close? Oh, we're gonna push him up on the wall. Heavy slam. Nice. I, I like the custom convert. I like the custom combo there. That's mm -hmm. nice. I did a lot of damage. That's the thing about the chance. Like even if it's custom combo, you don't have planned out. It's still gonna do over two hundred. Absolutely. See Aoki. Yep. You don't really have to respect too much. I always forget to like jump it. Yeah. I, I see a charge in my face, and I'm like, I'm just gonna like, shield me. You really don't have to. You can just jump. <laughs> all right. So. Oh, yep. That homing too good. I know Haru has a tendency to just panic JX and field to get over with, but can't really do that against people with frame love and grabs. Yeah. Really not a safe option. Ooh, too little too far away from the grab himself. Ooh, okay, so that kind of actually eats out a lot of the JY crossovers that just reach them both ends. Oh, 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 oh grab it! Grab it! Oh, grab it! Oh, 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 all right, yeah, all right. I mean, I mean. He did, he grabbed it. it. He ultimately grabbed he won. it. He won. I got the third person commentary coming here. Right well. <laughs> Alright, alright. So. Oh, now switching over to the Togekiss, I guess. Alright, so. Interesting choice. I think Togekiss is, is interesting for the champ because it just allows him to be more brave in his approach. Yep. Oh, we're coming in! Yeah, exactly like that. Like, he's just like, I'm just gonna run in, and you're gonna shoot, and I'm gonna grab you. <laughs> no bulk up, so not the extra damage off of it. Mm. Goes to just burst in his face. It's always interesting for me to watch um, Harahazu. Like, after I've known, like, Skyrim's play for so long, I just see so many so different stuff in the animal character. That's dead. I'm pretty sure that's dead. No! You're okay. living on 2 HP. Okay. Do I? Yep. Yep. What's mm -hmm. Any buttons? Any buttons? 1 HP. Oh, okay. that's a that's a big button. That's it. That's it. And Haru takes game one over Sorry Tag. Ooh, great oh. job by Haru. That was a good round. That was that, a really good round for Haru. Was. He just kept the oppression just right in his face. Mm -hmm. and I think that Togekiss really helped him just get right in. There's things where Haru struggles the most as a player. Now we're definitely going to see the switch here. I bet you Shandy comes out. Oh, there it is. Yep, the no, the no fun. <laughs> uh, you were talking about no fun earlier. This, this is the no fun. This is real no fun. Mm -hmm. Especially against me, champ. It's just like it's such a like I, I can feel Haru like being up and coming champ and just no. thinking like, oh, you did really against me too, but can you do well against the champ? <laughs> That's the question. Yep. Now the thing is, I think actually Haru was able to pull this matchup off. I think last week or maybe the, mm -hmm. this week. I can't remember. I think he's actually able to pull it off just because, again, he's able to get in. When he gets in, he just hits him real hard. Yep. So. Just shatters the lamp. Mm-hmm. It's really interesting to think about matches like that. Is that, like, in 90% of, like, all interactions, Shandy should be okay. Mm -hmm. But that 10% is just terrible. Oh, and then this is not a great position. Oh. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's a reversal. Oh, it does drop it. Very uncharacteristic there. Defense debuff coming out. He's trying to jump in. Not able to get it. Mm -hmm. The street, or the beams on the side catching Haru for the face shift. He's walking in straight into it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Tech, doing a nice zone out game here. I think Shandy is like an interesting matchup to just learn the fundamentals of tunnel vision. Like, just be like, you need to watch Shandy at home. Yeah. Like, you have no eyes on your own character. You need to watch when you see like them looking for that hex range or looking for uh, charging that laser. Like, you ha can't have your eyes on your own character. You need to watch them all the time. Mm. So. I think that's always an interesting lesson to learn from playing the game. Oh, hit him. Oh, is he going to hit him? Is he going to hit him? Oh, he can't. Not quite, but he's in his face. Thanks, Umbreon. Yep, I hit that. Ooh, I thought he was going to get over it. Mm -hmm. Does not, though. I don't think uh, Sidewind has the cone that 8 Y does. I think it's just a solid hitbox. Ooh, double debuff. Arahaza really needs to watch out for those. Yep, he's still got double debuff. All right, yep, he's getting a little frustrated. Just cannot get his opening in. Heck, seal. Yep, that's oh, and you're dead. <laughs> he just, I think he just wanted, he wanted what he got last game, where he could just walk in and be right in his face and hurt him. Yep. He just couldn't get that. Every time he walked in, he just took too many risks, I think. Um, and also, he just was not patient. He had zero patience coming through that. He just wanted to end it quickly. And something just got to play the grind game against Shandy. Yeah. Look for your opportunity. Right. So we didn't get 
change here. I might expect like an Amolga or maybe a Frog here. Either would be great. I will. I want to see the Token Kiss is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but I really want to see the support switch. Yeah, I, I really respect Haru because he is very willing to change the support. He's not like dead locked onto the support that he's only comfortable with. He he changes it all the time. Yep. So like even like in fact like the Rotom Tokus, that's a newer one for him. So let's see what he goes for. Emolga. Okay, I do agree with that. Because um Star Attack can be a little bit over D heavy, so if he gets that speed debuff on, he can't use it as much. So that means he can be a bit more oppressive up front. Mm -hmm. Until he gets that Emolga, he might be having a little bit of trouble here. Yep, no. mm -hmm. That whole last game, Haruhazer was not able to get in at all, and sorry, Tech just kind of keeping him at that distance. Yep. So, the thing is that um, Haruhazer having a hard time with the walking and blocking. Mm -hmm. He's either always walking or he's always blocking. He needs to do them together. Mm -hmm. Well, he's doing a lot of jump ins also, mm -hmm. and, and sorry, Tech's capitalizing on it every single time. Yep. Does have a Mulga, that could be the opening he needs. Right, he's got 15 HP and a lot of ground to make up, and just the two Y poke there. 15 HP and a dream, but the dream said no. Yep, and so sorry, Tag, making a quick run back here. Howard just had such a dominating uh, game one. Oh, don't agree with that, Amolga. Mm -mm. Don't agree with that, because now you're going to be waiting for it. Jump in. Right. Blocking, not blocking. Yep. So, there's so much impatience going on. He's, he's on that high from the first game and just can't. Once it again. Random crab, trying to condition him. Yep. You don't know what I'm I'll get, doing. <laughs> I'll get you eventually. I'll grab you eventually here. But he is enraged now and yeah. has a lot of ground to make up. Mm -hmm. He's coming in. Oh, uh, oh, oh. nice Amolga. Yeah. Or no, nice Umbreon. That was a really good call by uh, Sorry Tag. Just can't make it happen. There We're in. Go. All right, this is what he needs. Uh -huh. oh, that's oh, exactly what he needs. And there we go, okay. That is And right. Haruhaz is back in the game. That's a ton of damage, it's uh -huh. so gross. Okay, so now it's basically an even game now, but that uh -oh. burst is gonna swing it. Oh! Oh my god, okay. Just too far, right? don't... Oh, okay. I thought that burst was gonna happen. Yeah, me too, I was like, well... well. <laughs> burst now? Oh. Burst. Okay, no, just burst, burst, just go into burst. Haruhaz, you better burst! Go into burst, no! Uh, that'd be Why bad. Why did you burst? You just had mm, Oh okay. no. We heard, we heard some controller slam. Yeah. <laughs> He got his burst from that counter. I was like, oh, he got it. He's going to be able to get in. But uh, he just jumped way too. He was. He always jumped in that range. Yeah. Sorry Tag caught him on it. Great game there. By sorry Tag able to pull it back re really quickly there with the Chandelier pick. And you could always see there that um, Haru was always playing the aggressor in that situation. And sorry Tag just played reactionary the whole time. He could get away with it. Like, you got to jump? Okay, just went right from the outburst. Because.